Alrighty, what is going on everybody? Today is July 30th and I'm out here running a 51-52 Ebner Road 75 Fleet Twin. Um, pretty nice motor. Oh man. Alright, apologize, apologize if I'm going to talk a little fast. Uh, kind of drifting in the weeds a little bit and uh, we got a lot of boats out here today. But um, <clears throat> when I first picked up this motor, um, I ended up replacing the recoil assembly and I replaced the fuel tank, uh, much better condition than the ones that were on there. I've gone through three different fuel tank caps uh, to find the one that had the best seal. Um, I found out with these uh, 1951-52 Fleet Twins, um, sometimes the cap, like when you, if you fill up the tank and you're carrying it, sometimes gasoline will come out around the edges uh, this one seems to be pretty good and that does not seem to be happening but what I would do with these is just put it on the boat put it on the boat first and come out with your one gallon gas tank and fill it up <clears throat> instead of filling it and then carrying it to the boat <clears throat> just uh, some food for thought the coils and condensers were are all original um, I tested them they tested out all good I went ahead and cleaned and set the points and replaced the spark plug wires and added new spark plugs. Today I am running this on a 12 foot Crestliner using a <clears throat> uh, right around 20 to 1 fuel gas mix ratio. 16 to 1 is good, uh, 24 to 1 is acceptable. Uh, right now I'm just using about right around 20 to 1. Um, I am using <clears throat> lure plate 105 for the lower gear case. It is hard to find information on this particular motor, but um, all the old timers were saying Liber Plate 105 is just fine. So you can basically use that or uh, regular gear case oil. This model has a neutral clutch, meaning you cannot come past the start speed until you press this down and then you are able to advance into the forward gear. So um, yeah, I'm definitely getting into some weeds here. So I'm just gonna, Give it a go and uh, show you how it go show you how it goes. It is pumping water uh, very well. I really like these motors. Um, in my opinion, they're faster than the Aquasonics, and they're just pretty cool. They're cool motors. The, they have a built-in gas tank, and it holds roughly about a gallon at least. Um, so, yeah, that'll about do it for uh, this one. All right, guys, see you on the next one.